Aloha artist, Miss Maggie here. Today, we are going to create some artwork using lines. Lines are one of the ingredients that goes into every artwork that people make. If you look at nature, you can see how lines make up what you're looking at. If you look at a work of art, you can also trace the lines that are in that work of art. Today, we are going to use three main types of lines. Let's practice them now. The first line we're going to create is straight. Practice with me. Draw a straight line in the air. Straight lines, our finger stays in one direction. It doesn't change direction at all. Next, we're going to do a wavy or a curvy line. Say wavy with me as you draw this. Wavy, wavy, wavy. It can also be more like this, up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. It's up to you how you want to do your wavy or curvy line. Next, we have our zigzag or jagged line. Let's practice that one. This one's fun. Zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag. See how I'm changing direction with sharp movements. Zigzag line could also be like this. Zigzag, 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 zigzag. It's up to you. Today, we're going to use these amazing lines to create a work of art like this. This is an abstract work of art. It doesn't look like anything specific, but it uses lines to be beautiful. Can you find a straight line in this artwork? Can you find a curvy or wavy line? And can you find a zigzag line? This is the main piece we are going to create. Let's see what supplies we are going to need today. For today's supplies, you will need a sharpened pencil. You will need a small drawing paper. Remember, these are the ones that feel smoother. A large black construction paper. That's going to be exciting. And finally, we are going to use your oil pastels. Yours might look different from mine. Mine have been used to make a lot of artwork, so they are a little bit broken, a little bit old, but they still work great. If you're using some oil pastels that have been around your home for a while, that's fine. They'll work whether they're brand new or been used to make lots of masterpieces like mine. Lastly, you're going to need two other little things that are going to help. A paper towel or napkin or tissue. And oil pastels are a little bit messy, so you might want some sort of scrap paper, something to put underneath while you're working. Or just know that you're going to want to clean the table when you're all done. Okay? Go get those supplies. Small drawing paper, black paper, sharpened pencil, oil pastels, and a tissue, and something to keep your table clean. To begin with today though, we are just going to use the small drawing paper and the pencil because before we start on our main artwork, let's practice these lines. The first line I'm going to practice is my straight line. And right now, I am going to practice drawing the line all the way from one edge of the paper to the other edge of the paper. And so, right from here all the way to there. Let's see how straight a line you can make. This takes focus and attention, and you want to go slow. Straight, 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 straight. 
how did yours turn out? Did you focus? Did you go slow? Did you go all the way from one edge to the other? Good work. If it didn't quite turn out that way, you can try again. Just pause the video and try again. Let's try the wavy line or the curvy line. I'm going to start all the way on the edge again and I'm going to go all the way to this edge. But this time I'm going to go up and down and up and down. See, I'm still going slow. I started to get excited there a little bit, but then I remembered go slow. So that was our wavy or curvy line. And lastly, our zigzags. Sometimes we also call them jagged lines. And so I'm going to start on the edge. Remember every time zig, stop, zag, stop, zig, stop, zag, stop, zig, stop, zag, stop, zig, stop, zag, stop, zig. That was fun, but I still remembered to go slowly and carefully. Hmm, I see this could be an interesting picture. What could I turn these lines into? Hmm, what if I drew myself? I would have myself holding a paintbrush and I've got my artwork on an easel and I'm going to do a picture of what I see here. And so maybe this are some tall waves and there's a sailboat on it that's going for quite the ride. Oh my goodness. Those people are having a fun time. Maybe there's another one over here. And this is going to be a different type of boat. And then maybe far away on the other side of the sea are some mountains. And these aren't like the mountains we have in Hawaii. These ones are extra pointy, more pointy than the West Maui Mountains. And these ones are going to have some snow and glaciers at the top of them. And so there we go. I'll put a little bit of grass here. I added more lines to my straight wavy and zigzag line to create a fun picture to help me remember. If you want to create a fun picture, you can do that now. Just stop the video. But our main project is still up ahead. You can also save your practice lines and add to it later. So now get out your black paper. That's exciting, isn't it? I I'm going to look at this paper and think, hmm, I'm going to do lines on it and they're going to go all the way across again, but they don't have to go from here to here. They can also go from here to here or from here to here. The first line we're going to do is going to be a straight line, but this time I'm going to do a vertical line, a vertical straight line. So it's going to go from the top to the bottom and it's gonna be straight as possible. Okay, let's start on our main artwork. Let's get our black paper. So on this paper, we're gonna do lines as well. And let's start with straight lines again. Before, we did horizontal lines going from edge to the edge. And so practice a straight horizontal line that goes across like this. But we can also do a vertical line. Vertical lines are tall. It's still straight. My finger's not wiggling or zigzagging at all. Practice that one. Practice going slow. We can also do diagonal lines. They go from down low to up high. Or from up high 
to down low. Diagonal lines are fun. So those are some ways we can do different types of straight lines. Let's draw one on our paper now. I'm going to do a vertical straight line. So I'm going to start up high and go down low. I'm going to focus and practice and make sure that I go from edge to edge. Slowly, slowly, straight, 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 done. Oh, that took a lot of focus. Can you see your pencil line on your paper? It's a little hard to see, but if you move your paper like this, you can usually see it. I'm going to do a diagonal line as well because those are great. I'm going to go from up here to over here. You can even practice again just to make sure that's where you want it. Up here, straight, 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 straight. Yeah, that'll work. It's a straight line. It's like a slide. Whee! I'm going to do my wavy line next. Hmm, where shall I put it on the paper? Where is there a lot of space? But it's still going to go from edge to edge. So I'm going to start over here. Hmm, I'll practice first with my finger. I think I want it to go like that. Figure out where you want your curvy line to go and practice with your finger. Maybe it's different than mine but make sure that it goes from one edge to another after you've practiced it draw it with your pencil wavy curvy line i'm going to curve all the way up here and back down there we go you need more time, it's always okay to pause the video while you finish your line. Okay, finally, we've got one type of line that we're missing, right? Our zigzag. So I'm gonna add the zigzag in and I'm thinking, hmm, I think I want it to go across this way. Zig, zag, zig, zag. I think that's how I want it. Practice yours. Yeah, that's where mine's gonna go. I can't wait to see where yours goes. Okay, I'm gonna practice. Zig, stop. Zag, stop. Zig, stop. Zag, stop. Zig. There we go, I've got my jagged or zigzag line. And wow, how neat is that? I have a bunch of lines that overlap. Now, this picture, we're not going to make it look like something. It's going to be abstract. In other words, a beautiful design of lines. The next thing I need to do is use my oil pastels. I am going to take out three colors from my oil pastels. I'm going to take out my yellow, my red, and my blue. So if your oil pastels ever get dirty, especially the lighter colors, take a napkin and just give the part you're going to use a little clean because I don't want that bit of red on there. Now, I have my three colors, red, yellow, and blue. These three colors are special. We call these our primary colors. These colors can be used to mix anything. We'll learn more about them in the future. Right now, we're going to use them to trace over the lines that you drew with pencil. So remember, all the way from end to end. I'm going to start with yellow. I'm going to go slowly and carefully tracing over that line. Slowly and carefully tracing over that line. Next. You pick a line to go over next with another color. Hmm. I'm going to do this vertical line red. My vertical straight line is red. I went slowly and carefully. There we go. And I'm going to do 
blue for my curvy line. Oop, stop and watch. I couldn't see where I was going. That's why you'd want to go slow and look. And now, once you go over them with oil pastels, it's easier to see where the lines are, isn't it? And hmm, I've got one more interesting line to do. Let's see, I think I'm going to do it with yellow. You pick a color for your last line. I'm gonna go down. down, up, and down. See how my oil pastels went right off the side? It was helpful to have some scrap paper on the table because I got a little bit of oil pastel on the table. So now I'm gonna pick my yellow and I am going to choose a space one of these interesting shapes and I'm, gonna, and I'm going to fill that shape with yellow straight lines. Let's see, I'm gonna do this space right here and from one edge of the space to the other, I'm going to fill it with oil pastel lines. I'm doing my lines diagonal, that's how I was feeling. Diagonal straight lines. Make all the lines in that space do the same thing. I'm filling up that space that I found. Now, I'm going to do red. I'm going to choose a space to do curvy lines. Hmm. I think I'm going to do curvy lines up here. I'm going to go curvy, curvy, wavy, curvy lines. There we go. Sometimes I say wavy, sometimes I say curvy. And so I'm filling up that whole space. I don't go outside of it. Just the wire, just here. What I'm doing is if I hit another oil pastel line, I stop. If I hit the edge of my paper, I stop. See oil pastel line? That's where I start. And if I hit another oil pastel line, I stop. Ooh, see that blue line? That's what I'm hitting now. Ooh, okay, and then I stop at the yellow. And I, there we go, filled in. Let's do a zigzag one now, right here. And I'm gonna turn my paper because that's just a little easier for me to do it. You can turn your paper if that helps you too. And I'm gonna go from the edge, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig. I hit the yellow, I stop. Zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig. Hit the yellow and I stop. Zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig. Zag, zig, and I stop. Zig, zag, zig, ooh, that's tricky. It's another blue line, but it's a curve. That's a different shape. I'm gonna have to color that one in differently. But you know what? What about over here? I'm gonna keep going over here and then stop at the yellow. That was fun, let's try that again. Zig, zag, zig, stop. Zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, stop. And one more, zig, zag, zig, stop. Zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag. There we go. How's yours coming? I'm gonna look at this and think, wow, that's really neat. I need to do that in some more spots, but you know what else I can do? I can fill in spots with color too. Like I might take this spot here and I'm going to outline it with yellow. Some of it's already yellow, but I'm still going to outline it. And then I'm going to fill it in with yellow all the way, all full of yellow. And then 
I don't want it to just be yellow though. I'm going to take my red and I'm going to outline it with the red too, very carefully. And I'm going to fill it in with the red too, nice and even. Make it nice and even in there. And wow, oh, that looks beautiful. The red and yellow mixed to a new color. What color did it mix to? Can you see? It looks a little different because it's on black. But I think we made an orange. Is there a shape on your artwork that you'd like to color with yellow and then red? I'm gonna do another one. I'm going to clean my oil pastel. So my yellow is getting a little dirty. And I'm going to color this one yellow too. I'm going to fill it with yellow there. Go up. I'm outlining it and then filling it in. Oops, don't go outside your shape. I was going too fast right there. Wow, that yellow looks like it's glowing. I love how that looks on the black paper. I'm gonna add a little bit of blue in there too. Oops, remember to outline. Sometimes I start going fast and I forget too. And I'm gonna go slowly. <gasps> Yellow and blue. What's happening? <gasps> what does yellow and blue make? Do you see that they are mixing together to create green? <gasps> wow! Let's do one more. I'm going to fill this one in with blue since I've got it, but I'm going to clean it off. Always helps to clean them off when I'm doing this sort of work. And I'm going to outline the space. Oops, forgot an area. And then fill it in. Filling it in, staying in my lines, staying in my lines, filling it in, not forgetting any little spots. And I'm going to try adding red. I'm going to outline with the red and fill it in with the red on top of the blue. What color am I getting? Looks like I'm getting purple. Ooh, beautiful. That looks so neat. Now, I have two different ways I can fill in the last spots. I can take these areas and do more lines, and I can take these areas and fill it in with beautiful colors. You choose what you want to do in each spot. Like right here, I'm going to do straight lines that are diagonal and red. So there we go, red lines going that way. And I'm going to do blue wavy lines over here, but these wavy lines are gonna be a little bit different. They're gonna be a bigger wave. Oh, I can fit another one down here. Wavy, wavy, wavy. Stop there, start there, and go like this. Ooh, I like how that is looking. And then over here, oh, oh, I'm gonna hit stop and then start again. There we go. And then I'm going to do, hmm, I think I need more yellow. I'm gonna do zigzags up here. Zigzags are definitely fun. And oh, stop, because I hit another color. Stop. Start again over here. That's part of the same space. Stop. And a little bit more there. And then I've got a couple more spots that I can still choose what to do. I am going to fill in some of these with solid color. Maybe I will do this one with an outline of yellow. And then I'm gonna fill it in.
think I'm gonna do orange, but I'm gonna make sure that I keep that zigzag there. So I'm gonna outline. I'm gonna do an outline around it so that I keep the lines that were there. Filling it in, filling it in. straight to the edge. There we go. Just have these left to do. Hmm. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of wavy lines going this way. bit of yellow straight lines going this way. And there I have it. I'm done. How's yours coming along? So can you find the straight lines that you drew? Can you find the curvier wavy lines that you drew? Can you find the zigzag lines that you drew? They're in there, aren't they? Now, the last thing, your reflection question. I would like to know where you can find straight lines, wavy lines, and zigzag lines in your life. Can you find them in your home? Can you find them outside? They're everywhere. Look around for the next day when you're inside and when you're outside for those straight wavy and zigzag lines. Okay, what do you think the last thing is that we need to do? We need to clean up. I'm gonna move my artwork out of the way and make sure all my oil pastels get back in the right spot and that the lid goes on and my scrap piece of paper that or whatever I use to cover the table, maybe it's something I can keep for next time, or maybe it's a mess and it needs to get thrown away, or maybe I didn't have anything and I need to wash my table, or at least wipe it down so that the oil pastel doesn't get on other things. So make sure that you clean up. Also, remember to take a photo of your artwork. That's how you're going to share it back with your teachers and class. If you don't remember how, I shared a video last week on how to take a photo of your artwork. And finally, you made something beautiful. Hang it up in your home so that your family can see it. Okay, we'll make more art next time. Ahui ho!